What's up everybody, Alex from Twin Gaming TV, back with another MLB The Show 17 video today. It's gonna be a little bit more of a chill video, I'm probably not talking with as much excitement, all that stuff. I have a little bit of a headache today, so I'm just kinda trying to keep it chill, but still wanna get a video for you guys. We are 5-1 and one in this BR, looking to go 6-1 and one and 7-1 and one in this video, trying to win two games. But, I'm gonna start off with this first game and really try to get to 6-1 and one and get that Andrew Benatendi. Hopefully have a good 9 win reward. This guy has Went Merrifield, Chris Taylor, 9 99 Griffey, 94 Reggie Jackson, 89 Brooks Robinson, 88 Cliff Floyd, Melky Cabrera, 83 Pierzynski, Matt Boyd on the mound. We got Bartolo Colon on the mound. Sad that he has a lefty though, just for Jake Lamb, but that rookie Bartolo has been very good for us, looking to get our sixth win right here. There we go, one, two, three, inning from Bartolo. Got the first two guys on the first two pitches of the game. The 99 Griffey had a little bit more of a better at bat form. We got Jake Lamb leading us off in the bottom of the first inning, though. Lefty on lefty, still trying to do something. Oh, and he's doing something right there. That's gone. No way. Oh, baby, Jake Lamb starting the game off with a home run. Oh, we had perfect PCI placement, perfect timing, all that stuff, man. That was absolutely beautiful. That feels so good when you're able to do that. And we made the guy quit. That is our sixth win of this BR, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys the next game of this Battle Royale. And if for some reason we make, we make the guy quit in the first inning, we might even get three games going here. But this guy, or we're going to we're gonna get Andrew Benatendi. That's what I'm trying to say. And then we're going to see our nine-game reward, our nine-win reward. I'm hoping it's something good. Really praying for a solid one. All right, what's the reward going to be? Let's see what it is. Come on, load, load, load. And then we're going to check on the community market before our next game justin verlander i don't think that's like as good as you can get i think there's a, like especially if you get a flashback i think if you get one of the flashbacks that's like way better than any cards you can get but we're gonna go ahead and check justin verlander's price to go to the community market over here uh starting pitcher 88 overall should be pretty easy to find I, i'm assuming he'll be like one of the first ones right here uh there he is okay so he is yeah 2000 this is probably one of the worst nine win rewards i could have however it's not as bad because i think it can give you pretty much any gold it's not nearly as bad as one that would be worth a thousand stubs or something like michael fulmer you can pretty much only get a thousand stubs from it's not as bad as one of those guys but it's still not great but i mean 1700 2000 stubs it's not terrible but i would obviously want a better nine win reward it's really it's really on the like the lower end of nine win rewards for sure this guy has 92 Lorenzo Cain, Troy Chilowitzki, 86 Fisk, 81 Chris Davis, 88 Steve Pierce, Mike Moustakis, Brandon Drury, Yonder Alonso, and Jordan Zimmerman on the mound. We got Travis Wood on the mound. Finally, we're facing, or not finally, but we're facing a righty in this game. I mean, Jake Lamy hit the home run off the lefty, and we made the guy quit, but it's all good. We are the away team this game. Let's see where we are playing. We are playing at City Field. Not too bad. I like City Field, all right, and I'm glad it's nighttime, man. As, as long as we're playing in the nighttime, you know, October 7 p.m., something like that. As long as there's no sun to try and deal with, I'm going to be happy. Jake Lamb starting us off with the base hit. Couldn't get under that one as much as I wanted to, but I'll definitely take it, man. I'll definitely take off a leadoff base hit. Now we got the diamond Jose Reyes of the bat. And remember, we have three golds on our team and two diamonds because of the roster update. Jonathan Scott went gold, and uh, we drafted him when he was a silver. Joe Carter, there we go, line drive up the middle, should have runners on the corners now, um, I'm going to send Joe Carter to second, there we go, okay, so we got runners on second and third instead of the corners, I'll definitely take that one down, the diamond Adrian Gonzalez up to bat, I assume he's going to bring in a lefty, Adrian still, he hits lefties better, just not for power, but he has 85 contact versus lefty, so if he brings in a lefty, it's fine, if he keeps this righty and it's fine, whatever happens, it should be fine. Oh, Adrian Gonzalez smacked that one. That's going to be a two RBI single. I thought I smacked it a little bit more than I did. It's a line drive at the middle, man. It's scoring two. I'll definitely take it, but I thought it was going to be like a line drive into the outfield, but not quite. Jonathan Scope now. Ooh, that might be a hit. We might actually be safe. Wow, Jonathan Scope getting a base hit. I was only batting like 200 with him as well. Now David Peralta up to bat, batting 500 with him. Licking next on in the inning. Two outs, two to nothing lead for us. Still has starter Jordan Zimmerman on the mound, which is a little bit surprising. But let's see, let's see if we can get to him here, man. Two down, 2-0, two, two runners on. Let's see if we can get to him. Ooh, made some solid contact, but not quite deep enough. That's going to be the third end of the inning. We did score two in the inning, though. I'm very happy about that, man. Four hits, two runs. I'll definitely take that. I think we have... I don't know who we have on the mound, but we're going to try and get the dub, obviously. And that's going to be a base hit for him. We got him out. 
uh, with our starting pitcher on the first batter, then I realized he pretty much has all righties, at least this guy, and then the next two were all righties. So I figured I would just keep, or I would bring in a righty, because our starting pitcher was the lefty. So I figured I would bring in a righty and just try and get the advantage. And then obviously I left that pitch to Troy Tulowitzki on over the middle of the plate, but hoping he doesn't get anything out of it here. No! Oh, I thought we might be able to get the double play there. Just a little bit too far to the righty. As runners on first and second now, only one down. We're still looking for a double play as another righty coming up to bat. I really, really, really want to get a double play here. Uh, <laughs> this is tough, man. This is real tough. Going to go a cutter outside. And ball four. I'll take it, though, man. That's fine. Still got a double play opportunity. Another righty up to bat. Just got to make sure we don't walk him or give him anything to really hit. There we go. Should be our double play ball. Let's go. We actually got the double play with the bases loaded to get out in the inning. That's super awesome. I'm really glad we could do that, man. That's huge. Because if he would have scored, if he would have scored a run, if he would have scored even like tying the game or anything like that, this would have been a lot harder of a situation for us the rest of the game. We still got our two to nothing lead here with only uh, two innings to go. There we go. Drew Stubbs now killing that one up the middle. We're gonna go ahead and check what this guy has that's going to be a double we're going to go ahead and check what he has up to bat like righty lefty righty whatever he has and then decide if we want to take out chris davinsky because i mean we have a solid bullpen we have an okay bullpen he has a lefty righty lefty so two lefties i can just bring in justin wilson a new cub kind of crazy cubs made some moves the dodgers made some moves the cardinals didn't make any moves man let me know down in the comment section below what your favorite team is and what deals they made or didn't make during the trade deadline today and he's going the other way. Should get the runner to third at least. Yeah, going to get the runner to third. 87 speed, no problem. I think that's only one down here in the inning. So we have a chance to get a third run as long as we send it pretty deep into the outfield or get like a ground ball uh, up the middle or something like that with Jake Lamb up to bat now. Oh, and Jake Lamb, that's going to score the run. Oh, we're just going home right now. Yeah, that's going to score the run easily. Nice little bloop hit from Jake Lamb. Uh nothing I can do about that I mean that's a little bit of a tough situation I had good timing fly ball contact it's just I didn't really get the PCI on the ball um so I don't think it should have been a base hit and because the PCI wasn't touching the ball I feel like it might not have even uh or shouldn't have even I feel like it maybe should not have even made contact on the swing but I don't know exactly how the PCI and their hitting engine works to be able to say biggest thing is I don't know if the PCI like that they show the feedback for is the barrel because if it's just the barrel of the bat then maybe I hit it on the inside part of the bat which would which would result in contact exactly how it was in the game uh, but it's just with the PCI feedback it's a little hard to understand what should be a base hit what part of the bat that PCI is with the buckshot and all that it's just a little bit hard to understand sometimes since we have a full count with Joe Carter two ounce runner on gonna power swing here trying to hit a bomb and we swing and miss going to the bottom of the second inning up three to nothing now we have six hits he has two bringing in Justin Wilson to try and maybe get a six ounce save should be a one two three inning from Justin Wilson got to make the play there we go one two three inning from Justin Wilson three outs away from going seven and one in this BR definitely down in the comments below let me know uh, what you thought of the video today. It's a little bit more chill. Obviously not super high, but like I said, I have a headache, so I'm just not talking super loud or anything because it would just make it worse. And uh, let me know how you guys enjoyed the chill video, the chill style of it. I feel like I play a lot better when I'm just this chill, all relaxed. I feel like I'm playing a lot better. I mean, I'm probably not playing as good opponents because of the event going on, people trying to get the 99 Arietta. But uh, overall, I just feel like I'm making a lot better contact. Got six hits. I feel like I'm pitching pretty well. And uh, overall, I just feel like w when I'm more relaxed and kind of chilled out, mellowed out like this, I feel like I'm playing better than I normally would. Jonathan Scope grinding into a double play. We're going to the bottom of the third inning now. Up. I thought he, I thought he overthrew him a little bit or it kind of got him off the base. But we're going to the bottom of the third inning. Three outs away from the victory. He has his pitcher spot up to bat. We're up three to nothing. Should be a pretty easy victory for us. Justin Wilson looking for the six-ounce save. I'm hoping he can get it here. Uh, but this guy does have five righties now six counting Dale Murphy so we're gonna let Justin Wilson go until he gives up probably one base hit and then just bring in a righty because we really don't want to be at a disadvantage for six batters in a row that's not at all what we want there she yep that's the first I was about to say there she blows I don't know why that was in my head but there's the first sound of the inning and uh, we're two outs away, like it's still leaving Justin Wilson in until he gives up a base hit. If he even gives up a base hit or until he gets that six-ounce save and uh, gets us to 7-1 here in this BR. 
There we go, second end of the inning. And I'm just letting you guys know, so I've done daily uploads now. Uh, this is July 31st. I did a daily upload every single day in June. And now today, after this video, will have been every single day in July, which is 61 days in a row, man. That's the most I've ever been consistent in a row by far. And I should be keeping that going into August. My goal is at least a year of daily uploads. Obviously, after that, uh, I'll want to keep doing it. But my goal was like a year of daily uploads. And I'm just letting you guys know that maybe... Okay, there's a base hit. So Justin Wilson gone. But maybe... I just want to let you guys know that in the next couple days, there might be some really short videos. You might be just getting like a one-game BR video that barely includes anything just to keep the streak of daily uploads going. And I love Justin Wilson, and he got the save anyways. And we're 7-1. But just to keep the streak going, man, because I... I do have some family coming into town. I'm not going to be home. Going to see a Brewer Cardinal game in Milwaukee, uh, which will be awesome. And I'm just going to be spending time with my family. So expect daily uploads to continue, but don't be surprised if they're really short videos just to keep that streak going. Maybe like a 20 bundle pack opening, something like that. Just like not super great or not super long videos just to keep the streak going. But then for the rest of August, starting, I want to say Saturday. Uh, until August 24th, I believe. I'm going to try four videos a day. We'll see, man. That's that's like what I want to do. That's like a personal goal for myself. If I do it, I do it. If I don't, I don't. Um, as long as I get the daily uploads going, I'm going to be happy. But uh, I, I really want to try and get back to four videos a day until I go back to school. I start September 6th, but then the Call of Duty World War II beta comes out August 25th so I'm going to be playing that a lot getting a feel for the game and might even upload some World War 2 videos we'll just have to see but if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like subscribe if you are new and comment down below what you thought of it it was a little bit more of a chill video I'm just kind of talking like I said I have a headache I don't want to make it worse so I'm just kind of talking and chilling out I felt like I played a lot better and let me know if you enjoy this type of video if you would rather see me be like calm and relaxed and chill and play better or if you would rather see the hype twin the yell twin the rage twin like anything like that let me know down below but I'll see you guys in the next video thank you again so much for watching i love you guys you guys are one of my biggest motivators for continuing to have daily uploads and doing this every single day so i appreciate that you guys i can't thank you enough i'll see you guys in the next video thank you again so much for watching peace out <laughs>